Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I am your host, Melee Wizard. And I believe we have a meeting with a certain uh, lady in a bar, but... I want to check a couple other things out first. Like, there was this stupid thing that I'm pretty sure having the claw shot will uh, give me a bit more headway on. I want to at least give this a shot. Uh... Hey. It's, like, it's not like I'm short on cash. So... Not quite. Yeah, like I can, I can do this. I just have to. I don't know if that was faster or not. Gotcha! <laughs> Impossible. Uh, oh, what a happy day this is! The debut of a new star! Showers of applause all around! To the star, I shall give this! Worth it! Very well, there's... <laughs> I shall remember this. Uh, okay, then. So you, he's going to make it harder for me next time, I think. But you know what? Yep. Quiver expansion! And it appears I have fans now. Okay. Uh... So there's also one other place I want to visit. I think it was you. Because I got a couple more bugs now, and I'm curious what the, what happiness they'll bring. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 this is the right one. Yes, I have. Okay. I probably should have suspected as much. There's probably certain milestones or something along the way, but... Oh, well. Uh, you're the fortune teller, right? Yeah. I'm not gonna concern myself with you. Uh, I want to take a look at the south gate for just a quick moment. The fact that I can warp back to 
to the main entrance makes me feel better about doing this. Although... Oh, really? There we go. I mean, it's there. I might as well. Uh, anything else around? I don't see anything there. My primary concern was seeing if I could get to that one... Uh, Get to that one sword technique. <sighs> this is likely going to be money that's going to get wasted, but... Yeah, it's money that's going to get wasted. Magic pair. Oh, hello. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm going to talk to you first. Okay, hot spring water it is. Okay, uh... Uh... I know that... I, I'm pretty sure that there's, like, hot spring water... Um... Aha, uh -huh. hello. Wait a sec. You were here this whole time? Dang it. Well... I found you! <laughs> That's It's what I set out to do, and I found it. just wasn't quite where I thought it was going to be. So what technique is this? We meet again. It appears your efforts have begun to return some vigor to Hyrule, but it is far too early to relax. Do you feel ready to earn another hidden skill to steal yourself for the forthcoming battles against more powerful foes? Very well. But before we begin, I must test you to ensure you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the shield attack. Okay. Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well. My third hidden skill is the back slice. Let it be hewn into your mind. So, what is this? A mere shield attack is no match for an enemy protected not just by a shield, but by a thick, full-body coat of armor. Such enemies are often focused on guarding against frequent frontal attacks. They often leave their rear unprotected. That is when you L-target and press A while tilting left or right to jump and roll around your foe, then perform a jumping slice. This reminds me of a reactionary move from Wind Waker, actually. Particularly one one to be used against uh, Dark Nuts.
There we go. Bit of a uh, odd timing there, I think. It's a thing. We'll see how often it actually gets used. But okay. of course, whenever I come across Section 80 armored enemies, well, there are we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I guess there are still four hidden skills for you to learn. Do not neglect your daily sword training between now and the next time you come to learn the next skill. May we meet again. Did I just get washed away? Yes, I did. Well, fair enough. Thankfully, I could just warp back right here. Very, very convenient. All right, it's daytime now, so let me just, I want to just double check that one shop just to make absolutely sure that it's not, that it's just closed in general and, and time of day didn't actually play a role in it. As I figure, said shop will have some good stuff in it, and I want to, I, I have a lot of money, so I want to buy things. Alright, fine. It was worth a try. What was this? I don't remember. Never mind. Mm. Hello, Mr. Kitty. Yes, Kitty, I know you like me, but I have other I have other things to do. Uh, yeah, I'll talk to that Goron later. I got plot stuff to do. Of course I can't talk to the cat while I'm a human. Huh. So the mailman does actually do other things. You made it. How have you been, honey? Mercy, but you have good timing. I was just talking about you. Hey. Infamous. 
Why am I infamous? But there's been a disturbing turn of events in the western desert, so he's gone to check it out. He's an older man named Aruru. If you happen to meet him, definitely take the time to talk to him. All right. Well, I mean, didn't you? What's... Uh, I mean, we all have our talents. Yours just seems to be more academic. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm. At, at, at least you're honest about it. And self-aware. Snow Peak, the mountain to the north of Hyrule, it's unlike any mountain I've ever known. I don't know much yet, but things happen there that happen on no other mountain I know of. Evil controls it. As soon as I know something more, I'll tell you. Until then, you should stay away. Okay. Oh, yeah, I've seen some of those. Or at least, at least one. Hyrule was made by the Hylians, who, as we all know, are the closest race to the gods. But all according to legend, long ago there was a race even closer to the gods, and some say these creatures made the Hylians. When they created the people of Hylia, they simultaneously created a new capital, a city that floated in the heavens. They dwelt there, and some scholars believe that this, that this race still li uh, that this race lives there still, somewhere in the great sky. Sky beings. Isn't that simply marvelous, old boy? What I wouldn't give to meet them. Aha! Uh -huh. An objective. Cool. All right then. Yep, I already got directions, so I'm good there. Okay. Yeah, you said that was, was that the Eastern Gate you said? Yeah. I should probably talk to you, talk to that Goron, just to see if there's anything I can do in the at the present. Because I could pretty much just warp back to Lake Hylia whenever to to move the plot along. Uh. Medical clinic. Huh? Eh, what's that? <laughs> Just as I wonder who it might be, I see it's the admirable young lad who is willing to help the Zora boy for nary a single rupee. Just what is it you want, lad? A physical? You've got some money, don't you? <laughs> By the way, that girl... Ilya didn't mention anything about me, did she? <sighs> I'll be honest, lad, it'll cost you a fair bit. The golden mitts? Okay, fair enough. Maybe you've maybe you're just like side quest relevant or something. 
I don't know. So I believe the the bridge is out going this way, right? Or no. Uh okay, the Gorn's not directly outside the entrance. Definitely doing more damage than I once was. Okay. Not sure if there's much I can do here. Huh. All right, fair enough. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not sure if there's anything I can accomplish here. So. Let's just go ahead and head back to Hylia and do do whatever whatever I can do there. Pretty sure head going to him as a wolf probably won't accomplish a heck of a lot. So. Ah. Well, 
Well, I found one of those, so that by itself made this trip at least accomplish something. How big and sprawling does this area get, I wonder? Although it looks... Oh wait, that's... that's treasure. Arrows, fine. Oh jeez, I did not even... I did not even see the the bridge there until I was already halfway across it. I worry that I've, there's going to be treasure and I'm just going to miss it. There's got to be something. There's got to be something big here. Eventually. Ah. Ah, feels nice to be able to see. I'm just gonna keep opening chests. Eventually I'll get something that's not money. Uh, and thankfully there's a map to this place, otherwise I would be so lost. I had a feeling that was an exit. But you know, I I I want to see what more there is to this place. <laughs> Oh, unfortunately, I don't think... Oh wait, I have my freaking lamp. Durr.
Oh. Okay, apparently the yellow rupees don't get put back. More bombs is very much appreciated. I'm, I'm under the assumption that there's... That there's... Some, uh... Uh... What am I doing? Wrong item, me. So I realized what the yellow slimes are for. They're probably, you know, more, uh... Oh, gee. <laughs> this time, I, I, I still didn't see it, but... Ah, uh, you know what? I need to deal with those guys first. I don't see... Oh, there it is. So it looks like I was close to the end. The things weren't quite as winding as... I thought things kind of joined up together. Eventually. Oh! And I had that sneaking feeling that lighting all the torches would do something. And it turns out I was right. Yeah, now I'm presuming the slime is lamp fuel. Not much else would make sense. And it was just more money. Fine. All right, what's this way then? Oh, yay. Uh, naturally, that put me all the way back at the start again. So, it, it is rather dark. It's kind of hard to to see where I'm going. But at least all the torches stay lit. Oh, you survived that!
Okay, that continues. Ooh! Bigger treasure chest! That just has more money in it. More bombs? More arrows. There's gotta be something good at the end of this. Which is why I'm being so persistent about this. So there was two Poes in here. At least I figured out how to not waste my lamp fuel. I would think there wouldn't be too much more here just on how the map's laid out. So, what do we got here? More bombs, I'm hoping. Thank you. Uh, more big money? More big money. I actually used my new move. And naturally the rooms with the dodong with the dodongos are already lit. Go figure. Okay. Slingshot seeds at random. I realize I'm going kind of longer than normal for this, but I want to see what's at the end of this. And I don't want to have to come back here again if I can help it. Although this is definitely uh, suddenly becoming of concern, considering how winding this is turning out to be all of a sudden. Although, might be at close to the end. Uh, 
This does appear to be the end of this place, so this had better be worth it if it's just money again. Good! That's kind of what I was hoping it was going to be at the end of this. So yes, I have deemed this worth it. Got three Poes and a heart piece. I don't know what I'll be getting from the Poes, I'll be told, but... Better to have them than not, I suppose. And so, I guess, join me next time when I, uh... Go hunt down this guy and see, uh... See what more trouble we can get ourselves into. So, until then, this is Melee Wizard. And have a nice day.